Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is my new Linksys Atlas Max Wi-Fi 6E mesh router system. So this is my experience. I purchased this one on Amazon, by the way, and it's about a thousand dollar, but I got it at a discount because of the sale. So Linksys Atlas Max 6E. Yes, there's a six version out. That's not the 6E, and you probably could save some money with that one. I put in the description if you're interested in that one. But for this one, it's up to 9,000 square feet. Of course, not taking account distance and walls that much. And I don't have 195 devices. So if you have one of these, that's going to be good for about 3,000 square feet. Two of these, 6,000 square feet. Three of these, you have up to 9,000 square feet. And of course, you could add more. MX8503, free Linksys MX85 Chi Band Wi Fi 6E routers. Quick start guide, Ethernet cable, power adapters. You need the app, the Linksys app, Apple Store, or Google Play Store, right? So those are the places you need to get three year warranty, 24 seven support. The top port is the 3.0 USB port. You get four gigabit LAN port, which is great. So many, and also the, the WAN port, of course, the five gig one. And this is more on a little bit on the advertising I kind of feel, but it just tells you about the 6E and the 6 Wi-Fi 6 technology. Great for AR and VR devices and video conferencing. Powerful Wi-Fi 6E mesh coverage. That's really important that you place this in the right place. Otherwise, your coverage won't be so good. High device capacity ever. Of course, that sounds like a marketing. And uses the Qualcomm chipset for the 6E experience. So ultra fast, gigabit, multi-gig speed. And you know, great for gaming and such. So here's an example. You have one node upstairs, you got one downstairs, and you got another one upstairs. So placement is key and every place is every environment is a little bit different. Every home is a little bit different. Okay. So on this one over here over here you have the Wi-Fi 6E, and it just talks about the, the control. But uh, this one's a 4x4 MU, multiple in, multiple out. I'm going to skip some of those parts over there. Tri-band AXE 8400, All right? So that's that's the tech spec is probably what you want to read. WPA2, WPA3, personal encryption, automatic security updates, parental control, separate guest network, and this is app. So 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor as well too, and Bluetooth 5.0. I had to cover up my uh, serial number, and uh, this is what I'm going to be replacing it. So this is my old Linksys EA9500. Been a great router. Uh, has a multiple in, multiple out. You can see all those uh, antennas, which is great. I might end up selling it. I don't know yet. So notice I had eight Ethernet ports, not counting the internet port. So that was a really great router, but uh, the range is not that great. And especially you go through a lot of walls. Okay, so this upgrade, I'm solving a few problems. So the ring is having a slow response time with the old Wi-Fi router and also the Arlo as well too. So it will enhance your uh, wireless security devices performance and response time. You have a better router Wi-Fi system altogether. So that's something that is kind of related and you want to invest money in. So how to start, basically get the user guide. I put a link in the description. Atlas Max Wi-Fi 6E system, AXE8400. Make sure to read through some of the manual over here. Um, Wi-Fi 101, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. Most of the devices are that. 6 gigahertz, not that much devices are that. Uh, look through the lights. You got the blinking blue, solid blue, blinking purple, solid purple, blinking red, solid red, and solid yellow. Solid yellow, you want to move the node. It's a weak connection. And over here is more about the, the ports in the back, more details as well, too. So the Ethernet port, you want to use the 10 Cat 5E cable as well. So the placement I have right now is actually in my office, and I'm using 
uh, almost all the ports, right? So the bottom one is the power, of course. The next one, the white cable is connected. Oh, that's this one over here, connects to my modem. And got the next three connected to my different devices. So I'm leaving that one open and also the USB port open. So notice this one uh, placement. I don't want anything to be on top blocking the vents because that could overheat the device and shorten the life. You got the nice solid blue. And this is Wi-Fi 6E tri-band. Yes, there's a Wi-Fi 6 out there and probably you can save some money. You just won't have the little special performance of the 6E. I think not a lot of devices support it right now. Um, there's some Samsung devices that support that currently for the 6E. I'm sure future there's going to be more devices that support that. And the placement on this one is also key, not just because my office is in the middle of the home, uh, it's upstairs. So like I mentioned before, don't block these ports over here. And you also you want to have a good uh, power strip, you know, absorb some jewels so you don't damage this with power surges and stuff like that. So these are really expensive products overall, but you are kind of buying time and buying the future. And one of the other thing um, over here on this device, on the bottom, there's a default uh, Wi-Fi password and such of like that. If you need to reset it, there's a reset button. There's also an off button as well too. Uh, so that's something that has the Wi-Fi password. I can't really show over here, but you probably could find it when you start reading the manual. My office is upstairs. You can see right there. And, and downstairs I have a printer. And here's my secondary node. Why I place it here? Because this is the best spot for it. So placing this one over here. So you have the second node connecting to the one upstairs with the master node. I'm not using any of the ports in particular, but you probably could see all those ports a lot better over here. The five gig internet port, and you kind of, if you want to swap this, you can just reset everything and delete all the configs and use this one as a master, by the way, too. So, and also you can add more than three if you need to. You just need to buy more nodes. So that's very versatile for those folks that have a really big home and want the best coverage overall. So it's something to note that is also scalable as well too. So solid blue is a good color. If you have yellow light, that means your coverage is weak. You probably want to move this thing. Wi-Fi 6E tri-band. So my layout is not the best in my place uh, for Wi-Fi. So putting this one here is more like an intermediary before it goes to the other node in particular, which is in the other room, my living room. So let's walk down the hall over here. Uh, my current place, all right, sorry, it's a little bit messy some parts, I guess, maybe. But uh, yes, this is my third node. The third node is connecting to my second node. So otherwise, you're going to get a weak signal, which is a yellow light on this one over here. So like I mentioned placement is key, and I have the Arlo connected to this one in particular. I have a nice power strip. I saw some jewels uh, just in, and also power, uh, surge protection at the same time. So the Arlo feeds uh, on this one. It's just connected to here, and it's all wireless, um, you know, except for the power and uh, the Ethernet connection. So the router is wireless. So that's how good it works. And I did an app test uh, on the phone. There's a lot of Wi-Fi tester apps, especially on the Apple iPhone environment, and you can probably test this, and you can get you can see the performance is way better than the old. Just a single router setup. So here's a quick pros and cons. Your opinion may differ. First of all, I have the latest version of the firmware. Uh, and basically, it's been really stable. I haven't encountered any drop connections or weak signals or anything like that. It's been awesome. And moving from room to room, different nodes, it's not an issue at all. So, and also at the same time, uh, my security camera and using an app you could test it out and you get better performance and throughput all together response times a lot better on the wi-fi connection to the security cameras cons it's basically the price is about a thousand dollar msrp pretty much and it's going to be expensive not a lot of devices support 6e or even 6 yet but that's coming in the future and also the setup for initial part is not that great on the app 
Hopefully you liked the video surprise of the day. I really appreciate a thumbs up. Comment or share, please leave it below. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.